Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Up here, Air's Dugout, Air's Reef, all this Air's Island, this whole shoreline right here, all the way up into Rattlesnake. This whole shoreline, all that, all that uh, shell and everything, you need to work all this stuff here. I know we covered this maybe a couple of weeks ago, but the fish are still hanging in this area. There's some nice trout that are hanging off this. There's scattered redfish that are off of this area as well. All up here on Ayers Island in Rattlesnake, this, this whole shoreline down here in this little cove back in here. Get up in this area here, get out, pay attention to what your wind's doing. Again, we've, uh, we've got extra water in here from the hurricane that's been pushing in on Louisiana. It's been out in the Gulf here for a little bit. So there's more water that's in the system right now, so it pushes more fish in and it pushes them further back in areas that they haven't been able to get to. So these opens up some fishing area for you. So some of this area back in here that's been a little, maybe probably a little too shallow, uh, you can get back in there now. Uh, look for your bait working back in here. Uh, probably three of the best baits that's been working this past week has been the Supermodel in both the Chicken of the Sea and Magic Grass. Yes, those are my two go-tos, but they're constantly producing. Uh, the uh, burner shads in the chicken of the sea has been really good. Supernatural as well. Mirror lure in Little John in the uh, watermelon red, uh, golden red glitter. Kitchen sink have all been good. Just pay attention to your water clarity in these areas. Uh, look for your bait working in and out of all this area and just be take your time with it. Uh, with the extra water in here, then you can get closer to the shoreline. You can get your top water out. You can work that up there tight to the shoreline. You've been finding some redfish that's been cruising in and out up here on those grass lines and some of the shell bed as well. Uh, as the sun begins to progress up to the higher up in the air, then make sure you get to the edges where that water starts to drop off in that three to five foot, maybe two to four foot. Uh, you're waist deep throwing out deeper. Just probe those areas looking for your trout and, and uh, find your bait working in these areas and you'll find your fish. Down here in Spalding, all the way down here in the corner, again, with the extra water that we have pushed in here in this past week. That'll continue to stay around for a few more days. Uh, just make sure you pay aware to your, your uh, pay attention to your tide reports and wh where your tides are at and what you can and can't do with your boat, depending on what type of boat you have. But it opens up these back lakes even more so, so all this extra water gets back in these back lakes back here and it opens them up for you. So you can get back in these things, you can wade all these things, you can get your boat back in there, you can just kind of float or use your trolling motor because you got an extra foot of water in some of these things and it makes it really nice. Redfish, black drum, trout get pushed back in these things. We've been finding some nice redfish been pushed back in some of these mouths. Just working with Little Johns, working with Burner Shads, been working the down south supermodels. Uh, Topwater baits in some of those occasions as well has been pretty good. Uh, but your most consistent bait that's been working has been the plastics uh, in your uh, Little Johns and the Down South. Those have all been really good and uh, have worked and produced, especially on the outside here, on the edges as you come back around here to Carlos. A little bit deeper edge right here on this, on this point as you come back around toward this little back lake that's right there. Work all that area in there. You've got some nice grass that's in there. There's a nice thing of crab traps that's been pushed a uh, big uh, line of crab traps has been pushed in there and those things get baited out regularly so that's another indicator right there that fish will will come to because that's your smell part of it as far as uh, fish locating bait so come around here work these edges here work the shell that's out here be patient with it that's the biggest thing right now again we're in a transition phase from the full moon to the new moon so we're in those wild card days right now as we get closer and closer toward those five days that lead up to a new moon, uh, which are the best in my opinion. And, uh, but continue to work these. You'll get all different kinds of days, good, bad, great, poor, whatever. But be patient, find your bait, work these areas and you'll be, uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised with what you locate. Down in here in Copano Bay, Italian Bend. Again, extra water that's been pushed in here from that hurricane, man. It throws a lot of extra water in our estuaries opens up more water to be able to fish. All this area back down here in Italian Bend, down here in the lower part, bring it all the way back around. You can wade every bit of this. Now you're gonna to have to be pushed up a little bit closer, tighter to the shoreline because it's a little bit deeper than normal. 
but there has been nice bait working back in here. There's been some decent fish that being caught as far as trout goes. Now, as you continue to work in and out and up and down this whole shoreline here, if you want to wade that much, that's fine. If you want to get on your trolling motor and work it and work it from the boat, you can do that. Find an area you got some bait that's working, then put the boat down and jump out and start wading and start working all that area. You got some deep grass that's working in here. We uh, rig it up weedless and throw in and out of that grass. Man, there's some nice redfish that are cruising in and out of that grass like that. And once you find that bait that's maybe jumping, working, a little nervous, it's always a great thing to see nervous bait working in an area because that lets you know that there is a predator fish that's close by. Come on up here around this point and work this big grass flat. It comes all the way back down south, back around this point. A lot of nice scattered grass that's over the top of this. There's been some nice trout caught off this. Again, the uh, magic grass, Chicken of the Sea, both in the supermodels, have produced really well. Burner Shads have been pretty good. Uh, Little Johns have been the other one that's been really good. And uh, the colors that I listed earlier in both your uh, red and gold glitter, uh, uh, kitchen sink, uh, that's been really good. Uh, watermelon Red's been pretty good as well. But all these areas in here working that, look at your water clarity, and that kind of lets you know uh, that those fish can see really well down into this water so when you put that nice flash in there and you bring it across their face they're gonna you're gonna get the reactionary strike that you're looking for but again locate your bait first pay attention to what your main majors and minors are when they're coming up see what your tide's doing uh, again with the extra water that's pushed in here it's going to give you a little bit more cushion that you can fish in areas that you haven't been able to fish but uh, again incorporate that major and minor locate that bait and you'll find your fish thanks for watching i'm captain larry bell